Next team I want to talk about is the Los Angeles Clippers. I've been incredibly incredibly impressed by how the Clippers have been playing so far this season. I am a million times more confident in them than I was at the beginning of the season because, if you know me, I was super critical of this roster throughout the entire offseason, as most people were. We all saw the complete collapse that was uh, what happened last year. That was just an absolute embarrassment. And I... Uh, I'm going to be honest, I thought this team was going to completely implode. I recognize that they made very nice moves. I recognize that the Serge Ibaka move, in my opinion, was a big upgrade. I recognize that Luke Kennard was the guy who can shoot threes and could be a good playmaker off the bench. But I just thought there were so many internal issues with this roster last year that weren't going to be fixed by the uh, additions that they did make. But this team has looked much, much better. And I think first, you got to start off with coaching. Tyron Lue is someone who I was super unsure of as a coach because he had LeBron. He had uh, such great rosters in Cleveland. And when you have the best player in the world, it's pretty easy to look good as a coach. But he has done such a good job of coaching this team uh, so far this year. The way he's running that like triangle offense at times and he's incorporating that has been great so far. His defensive schemes has been perfect. Like Everything has been on point. His rotations have been very good. I feel like he's utilizing everyone very well. He's done a great job of uh, making up for them not having like a true uh, great playmaker as it's more of a play. Uh, playmaking by committee type of thing and yeah he's done an amazing job of coaching this roster so far this year been super impressed and obviously you got to start off with the star players for this team Kawhi and Paul George are locked in and are playing incredible basketball I love to see Kawhi not load managing nearly as much because I feel like that was an issue with a lot of the people on the team last year is they had issues with them getting their preferential treatment and Kawhi still needs to do that at the end of the day I'm never going to criticize him for not playing all the games because it does seem at times that that injury is still bothering him and you want him to be healthy for the long run but for him to be playing more consistent games and uh, him just being allowed to like click with this team more because of the games he's playing has helped quite a lot as you can see the chemistry is just a lot better and Kawhi is quite very quietly having an MVP season so far I feel like his name has not been mentioned nearly enough in the MVP conversation because he's averaging 26 points 5.2 rebounds and 5.4 assists on 50 40 90 efficiency while leading the clippers to the best team uh in the western conference and i'm pretty sure the best uh team in the league as a whole Kawhi is easily an MVP candidate, and if you said Kawhi was your MVP, I would not be mad at all, as he's having one of the best seasons of his career, and he's been absolutely incredible so far this season, and again, I just feel like he's not getting nearly enough recognition for how good he's been so far, because you can't even say it's the him missing games so far this season, because uh, even the games that he did miss was due to like health uh, protocols he's played most of the games that he can play in and he's been locked in so far he's even been uh, better on defense like he was obviously still great on defense last year but there were definitely times you could tell he was more focused on offense but he's just completely locked in on both sides of the ball and has been completely ridiculous Paul George has been great so far this year been super efficient again both of those guys shooting 50 40 90 both of those guys are playmaking well Paul George is another guy who deserves to be in the MVP conversation. Uh, they've both been just playing so, so well. I love to see how Paul George has been playing. As you can tell, he's really healthy. He's rejuvenated. And he's really just locked in because so many people were criticizing him last year. And it was it was 100% um, reasonable why they were criticizing him. Because he was an embarrassment in the playoffs. He completely failed in the playoffs. But uh, he has been playing much better this year. It just... It, this whole team just has a different feeling to it. Like it, it's hard for me to describe it exactly, but the chemistry just feels so much better. And it's just, I, I'd say the thing that's best to describe it is just the flow of this team is so much better now. Like everything is just clicking on all cylinders and they just look so much happier out there. Like I love everything about this team so far this year. The Serge Ibaka pickup has been absolutely massive. Even if Serge doesn't put up some crazy numbers, which he isn't by any means so far this season. If you watch the Clippers games, he is such a big impact on this team because he allows them to be so mo much more versatile because last year they didn't have a 
center who could stretch the floor. Like if you wanted to run uh, Patrick Patterson at small ball center, they could do that. But he was a bit of a liability on defense if you did that. But now Serge Ibaka is the offensive and defensive player that they need. It allows them to run five out, which allows Kawhi Leonard to be one of the best ISO players in the league, which he obviously is. He's almost in- unstoppable in the ISO. It allows Paul George to get more room in the ISO as well. And then it just... Uh, brings such a bigger threat from outside as he's shooting 39% from three. And even if he's not like the crazy shot blocker necessarily that he used to be, is still a very good rim protector. Does such a good job of just affecting shots, being in the right place at the right time, uh, defending the pick and roll well. Love everything about Serge's game, and he's been super important to this team. And then you just have a bunch of guys who may not be big names or may not be star players by any means, but everybody's just buying in. Luke Kennard, really good shooter and a guy who brings uh, a little bit of playmaking to this roster. Nick Batum is someone who I thought was done after he had some just terrible years with Charlotte, but he has been a super underrated and super good pickup for them so far this year. As he's back to shooting the three ball, lights out, and that's what made him so valuable, and then he's uh, being a playmaker as well, which is another thing uh, that I just love about this roster is that, again, everybody playmakes by committee and everybody is just helping this roster win games. Uh, it's, uh, Marcus Morris has done a better job of not being a ball stopper, even though he can still at times. I like Avika Zubak at the backup center. Lou Williams is someone who I would like to see them uh, trade, to be honest, because he's been just not super great this year. And I still just can't trust Lou Williams in the playoffs as he's going to get hunted on defense. That's just the unfortunate thing with him being a 6'1", 175-pound, 34-year-old. But overall, I've been super impressed by the Clippers so far this season. They've been really outperforming my expectations, and I love everything that I've seen.